this example code here from uh, GitHub, we can kind of copy it as is, but let me in general kind of tell you a little bit about what's here, and we will change it. There is the scan method with then a callback function of success, comma, callback function of error, comma, and then options. So this still sort of follows the syntax of how we used pouch. Pouch had, um, you know, dot something with some, often with some parameter, and then the function of success or failure. So it's similar to that. There's going to be here first for the uh, success, and they're calling success result. It's going to have a basic pop-up that appears that says, we got a barcode. It's going to say result, the result object, which we had as success. We had success.id or success.ok, whatever. We had the object. Here they call it result, with then a dot .text property. So it's going to show what was the text that was scanned in the barcode. It can then say what format was it. And there's a list of the possible barcodes below. And if it was canceled or not. So true or false. Did they try to do the barcode and they canceled it? So the object is very basic. It's got text, format, and canceled properties. Um, if it was an error, the, fun the callback function would then pop up and say scanning failed. And what was the error? Uh, if they if there was the camera suddenly shut down or something crashed it would say something and then a bunch of options are 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 passed through in json format technically not in json format because they didn't use the double quotes but using the double quotes should still work so these options are explained further in the documentation here in the comments it mentions preferred front camera set to true so on these devices the back camera is the one that faces away from your face. This is the back camera. This option is set to true front camera. So if this loads up, it's going to automatically go on the front facing camera instead of the back. That's what I want to change. It's not that useful for this to load up and I'm looking at myself. I'm not going to scan myself. I'm going to scan a barcode somewhere. So that's one option we'll change or remove. Show flip camera button set to true. So again, you have the ability to press a button to switch between the back and the front camera. You almost are never going to use the front facing camera to scan a barcode, unless you've got a barcode tattooed on your cheek, because that's what that's for, to look at yourself. So these two options, we can set them to false or remove them. Torch, what's a torch? The light. Other countries call it a torch. In the US, we call it the light, the flashlight, whatever. Torch. So if you want to turn on the, the flashlight, your, your flash, on your phone, you can do torch button, true, or have the torch automatically on. Again, both of those, we don't really need those, so we can take those out or put them to false. Save history. The default is false, that it doesn't remember other barcodes you've scanned. And here it's saying, yeah, let's remember other barcodes. Question. If we if we leave this one to on, your your light's going to be on and no way to turn it off. You're right. I'm so exactly. So you want this one on, okay. true. If you're if you leave this one on, or else your light will always be on. If you leave them both on, the light is on when the app starts. And then you have the option, true, to turn it on or off. If we set both of them false, it's not going to show the button to turn on or off the light, and it won't have the light turned on. There's going to be text that we're going to see. The scanner is going to load up, and there will be prompt text. And it says here, place a barcode inside the scan area. And notice not all options work on all devices. This one's really only for Android. On other devices, it won't say a message, it's just the scanner will appear. Result to display duration, 500 milliseconds. We'll scan, and it'll show you what you scanned for half a second, which you can increase, decrease, or remove. Yes? There are defaults for most of them, 
and you don't need to set any of them really if you remove them it should still work but it's often better to set your defaults so that you know what you get instead of guessing what was the default or trying to remember what the default was but some of these that are marked as default like this one save history is usually false it'll tell you here and further in the documentation uh, like right here I don't like that this example code is set to this QR code and PDF 417 QR code is rather common but I don't think the PDF one is because when I copied this code and used it as is I could not scan regular barcodes regular barcodes is like P is uh, is uh, UPC a or something so this is definitely one that I would change or remove it because if I don't specify a format the default will be everything except for PDF 417 and RSS expanded. Orientation landscape. My camera will be landscape when it loads. Only for iOS. Disable animation. True. Disable it says beep. False. So it'll play a little sound once you've scanned. You can say yes, disable the sound set to true. Yes. When we scan a barcode, is there any information given to us? The main information? No. Nothing, just, a, just a, some numbers. Just the numbers of the code, yeah. And how we can convert it to the well, that's, information? Well, that's why this is a little more complicated, because that number <laughs> is tied to some database yeah. of products that then I convert that code that I scanned into the actual prices. So there is an app that we can convert barcodes to the prices. I mean, if you're in the, the huge supermarket, yeah, Walmart, can, exactly. How we can do it on our app? Because the because with these numbers we can't do anything. Just we have some numbers. It's we numbers. Uh, that's the true. Number of the PC, number of the codes, the number of the food. Yeah, like, for example, how the Walmart app works when it scans, it has the database of those millions of products in the app. That's why the app is 90 megabytes to download. Our app right now is 2 megabytes, because it's not that complex. So we would need the, the full database of this number equals this price, plus this picture, plus this description. How to get that, we're not really going to do it, because that requires the database already of all of those products already saved especially on a server. But oftentimes, these other websites can let you connect to their database and say, here's the code, let me connect to your database and give me the price. So How we can connect to that database? Through more code and connection and more code. We're not going to be able to do it in the class, but going over to the developer site of the company, they often have us they have what is called the API, how we can connect to their data through the API. So if, if I take uh, 50 or 10 or 5 scans, mm -hmm. what's going to be? They're going to store here. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know which which which. We will because we are we are taking the point is we're taking the photo of a particular item. We're going to take a photo, uh, the, the scan of the color. We don't take the photo of the items. But it's attached in our example to the comic. Remember, the comic has the title, the price, not the price, the title, the, the year, the number, and the barcode. So the barcode, we're using it to save it with the comic. The only example, the only reason we're using that barcode is just an example for a barcode but we want to use it to scan the, the comic. Mm -hmm. This plugin also lets you create barcodes if you want to, and how to do it is listed there. So I'm going to copy, let's go ahead and copy that whole block of code and we're going to need to modify it. Copy all of that. Don't forget the final closing sad winking face here, I mean the semicolon. We can get all of that, or else that'll break. We need the final semicolon there. 
We're going to plug that into our function save barcode. And then we're going to modify it. Let's see. So I pasted all of that code, and that's cordova.plugins.barcodescanner.scan. We have our first piece here, the success callback. We'll leave it alone as is, just to make sure it works. Then we'll make it do what we want. We have an error that'll make a pop-up that'll give the error. That's fine. We'll leave that. So I think the way we'll modify this is we'll take out a few of these items. We'll, we'll simplify it. You can put it how you want, but here, here's how I want. I don't want the front-facing camera, so I'm just going to delete that one completely. You can set it to false. It's the same. But if you delete it, you um, save bytes. I don't want the button to flip either. Delete that. I don't want to turn on the light. Delete that. I don't want the light on. Delete that. Um, let it save history. Don't really need it because we're going to save those barcodes to our database. So take that out. This prompt. This is what will appear for the user. Place a barcode inside the scan area. Okay, that's fine. We'll leave that. Display the result of that scan for one second. 1,000 milliseconds. Just to see what it is. Maybe we don't need it that long. Maybe you want it longer. That's fine. Formats. This is the one again. This, I, I wish they didn't have this in the documentation. I would have preferred the default of all. So just delete that one completely because this is only going to look for QR codes and PDF uh, barcodes. The ones that you have to work with right now are not this type. Possibly, but from what I understand, I think PDF codes are not that common. Maybe in Europe, because the, the, the plugin has a European feel to it, because they said torch rather than flashlight. So maybe in Europe that kind of barcode is more common. QR code definitely is more common also, but we have no QR codes in class to play with. So I'm just going to leave, I'm going to delete it so that we have all uh, codes. Uh, orientation landscape, fine. Disable animation, we're not, we're not using iOS at the moment, but you can leave it as is. Um, and success beep, disable success beep, false. We'll leave those two. So I deleted those and I've got a bunch of empty spaces which you can clean up. Just like that. So I only really passed in these ones that I wanted to set. What's the text that appears? How long to display the scan before going back to the form orientation of the camera? Disable animation and uh, don't disable the sound. Let's see if this works, and then we'll and then we'll actually make it work with our project. This is just going to activate the scanner. It's going to pop up if it worked or not. If we can confirm that then the data that we're saving, then we'll save it to the database in a moment. And I want to run this on my device. So I've got, a, I've got the device plugged in. I'm going to run it. I just thought of something, you guys, here. If it's not, if it's not installing onto the device, uninstall the old version from the device. And then try to... But do you, do you have an old copy of CBDB on your device? Maybe try deleting it. Sometimes that causes that issue or other issues.
So once I run this on my device, I need to create a user and then I'm going to sign in. I'm going to go to the screen where I can save a comic. And I'll have a brand new button that says barcode scanner or scan barcode. I'll click that and then the uh, camera should appear. Put it on top of a barcode and see if it captures it. Someone scanned the barcode. Um, no, I gave them all to pass them out. So because we added a new plugin and a plugin is full of extra files, it's taking a while to compile again, but again, subsequent compilations will go faster. So eventually when this works, the idea then is, if it is capturing the barcode, we access that with result.text. In this success function, uh, an object of result is created. And that object has properties of .text, .format, dot cancelled. Those three things we can we can work with. So here we go. Mine finally is coming up. And sign up. Okay, so I go to my save comics screen. I've got uh, a new little section, a little divider. Barcode there is waiting. The code will go there in a moment. I'm going to do barcode scan, scan barcode. So it switches over to the camera. Again, I don't need the front facing one. I don't need the light. I don't need all of that. And it's looking for a barcode. So we've got one on the top of this monitor over here. volume off, but then it popped up and it says alert, we got a barcode, and in this case it was 1003, etc. And I see here it says 1003, etc. This is of code code 39, and it was not cancelled. So I am getting a result that an alert appears. Uh, we'll do one thing, then we'll take a break. I want that code, that result, to be added 
to the box for that barcode. I don't want to manually type the barcode. I want to scan the barcode and the barcode goes into this box. So that means that our ID of in barcode is where we need to put the result.txt. This alert displays the actual code result.txt. So line 397. We've got an alert. End of the alert. New line. The jQuery selector pound the name of the that input field dot val. Let's set the value of the thing called in barcode in the HTML file. Let's set its value. Its value is result dot text. It's right here. The result of the scan is this text. So that input field that just currently says barcode. Don't forget the pound sign there because it has an ID. We'll set its value, its val, to that text. I'm going to run that, and if I confirm that works, then we'll take a break to see that it works for everyone. Because the scanner plugin, its purpose is to check to turn on the camera, scan a code, and then that code, then we do other things with it. What we're doing for our purpose here is we're, 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 we're going to save information about a comic. So I assume I've got the comic with me, and then I can scan the barcode of the comic, and the barcode data gets saved. So that time it's uh, loading a lot faster. It logs me in. It logs me in directly to the home screen. So I'm going to save a comic. I don't need to fill any fields yet. I'll turn on the barcode scanner and I'll go over to my barcode. Scan that it showed it for one second and then it pops up. It's still going to pop up the alert, which I'll remove. Click OK. And now the barcode field has been filled in. It doesn't say barcode anymore. It filled in with the number 10034998. So that's going to get saved to the comic once I fill in the rest. But let's pause here for the um, break and see if it works for people. So at 7.35, we'll take a break until 7.45. Hopefully your barcode works. I heard one work.